welcome in to KZSU 90.1 FM. I'm Jimmy Garcia out here at the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio for the NCAA Division I Women's Final Four. The first of the doubleheader here in Columbus as Stanford will be playing Minnesota. The Golden Gophers will take on the Cardinal in just about five minutes. Teams are warming up as we speak. Stanford comes into this game the number six seed in the nation coming off of their biggest upset all season and what are some are calling the biggest upset in the past 15 tournament years as Stanford goes into Wisconsin last weekend. They go down two sets to none against the Badgers in their home arena where they were 13-1 and one and come away with a five-set victory after just purely dominating after being down. Stanford's whole logic really changed going into that third set. They started hitting with a lot more power, going for balls they weren't in the first two sets, and just playing with that certain it factor that it takes to win big time games. We noticed that in the warm-ups today, Stanford had that same look in their eyes. They're led by fifth-year senior Inki Ajanaku, who had her best game of the season, recording 20 kills and 11 blocks. She now has 600 and 10 blocks in her career at Stanford. Stanford has gotten some recent accolades. Catherine Plummer was voted the AVCA National Freshman of the Year, beating out players like Alexis Hart from Minnesota, Molly Haggerty from Wisconsin. Stanford also picked up some big honors in head coach John Dunning, who picked up Coach of the Year today for his great work changing up the program's playing style, going from a 6-2 to a 5-1, switching offenses halfway through the season. And all it's done for the Stanford team is lead them to victory. Stanford is 14, and they've won 14 of their last 15 games. Their, lo their last loss coming around a month ago to UCLA at home in five sets. Stanford has been dominant away from Maples this season at 13 and 2 overall in true games away from Maples 3 and 0 in neutral court which this game is considered as neither team has home court advantage Stanford will be in their road cardinal red while Minnesota will be in their home white uniforms and with that being said we're going to take it out to the national anthem here on KZSU 90.1 FM we want to thank you all for listening and we'll be right back in just a short moment Tonight, the are presented by Springboro High School Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard. And now, please welcome the Indian Miller, a Minnesota native and Ohio State grad, and Julie Miller, the city of our national anthem. Oh, 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 The loud applause is here at the Nationwide Arena as they're gonna do a quick intro on the big video board here where the Columbus Blue Jackets, the NHL hockey team plays. It's a packed event for today's game. And 
the Stanford fan section is actually behind us here today as they look to cheer their team into a national championship game. That game will be on Saturday. If Stanford can make it through. Stanford actually played Minnesota earlier this season in the second game of the season. Stanford won that game three sets to one on their home court. Both teams a lot different now as Stanford is without star sophomore. Last year's freshman player of the year, Haley Hodson. And the change without her has been kind of dramatic as this team was kind of stuck in neutral for a while, but has really stepped it up, winning their last 14 of 15. And you couldn't ask for two hotter teams as Minnesota has won 13 straight. They're currently the number two seed in the tournament, but the number one team in the ABCA poll as they took down both Nebraska and Wisconsin in the final week out on their home court. When you pull Minnesota away from the sports path in Minnesota, they're not the best. They slip up a little bit. And it was the exact same thing that happened when they came out to Maples. Stanford is an interesting team the way that they play. They know going into this game how good Minnesota is hitting. The three other teams, Nebraska, Texas, and Minnesota in the tournament still left are all teams that prefer to hit instead of play defense where the Cardinal thrive off of the big block. And in the game at Naples earlier in the season, Stanford was able to record 17 and a half blocks and threw off star senior Sarah Wilhite's game. Sarah Wilhite currently sits with 512 kills on the season. She was the Big Ten Player of the Year and her setter, Samantha Seliger Swenson, earned setter of the year honors. Minnesota, with a lot more experience than Stanford at this level, they were here last year. The only change in their starting rotation is the addition of freshman Alexis Hart, who had a great game when the Stanford Cardinal, when the two teams played earlier this season. So we'll see how they do here. For the Cardinal, starters introduced. It'll be Jenna Gray, the young freshman setter, with. National Freshman of the Year, Catherine Plummer, not too far behind Kelsey Humphreys, primarily a defensive player on the back line. Out there as well as Inky Ajanaku with Holland McKenna, Adriana Fitzmorris, and Morgan Hentz. Stanford starts four freshmen, and it's an interesting look when they can throw all four of them out there and not worry about how they're going to play they have so much confidence in the young core to get it done on the big stage and none bigger than the final four semi-final game here tonight minnesota starters being introduced in just a moment sarah wilhite will be starting with hannah tapp and her twin sister Paige Tapp. The two both had very good games out at Stanford in the second game of the season for both schools. Samantha Seliger Swenson, the team setter, will be starting as well. She's in the 1300 mark for sets this season. And is just so smart with those tricky plays. In Stanford's last game, they had to play one of the best setters in college history in Lauren Carlini of the Wisconsin Badgers. The senior was a four-time All-American first-teamer and was so sneaky at those trick dump plays and finding the open player on the court. Rosado out there with Lohman. And getting the start as well, number five, Alyssa Goner. Stanford will be starting in front of us here at the announcer's booth. We are on press row behind the ladder referee. The team bench is opposite from us as Stanford's bench is in front of us here in the first set. Teams will switch sides after one. It's best of five and when you play to 25 gotta win by two 
and it is rocking here in the nationwide arena. Inki Ajanaku led her team to victory last Saturday against the Baggers. Can she do it again here tonight if there's one player that can throw the team on her back and take her team to victory? It's Ajanaku. Teams out on the court as the Nationwide Arena is starting to fill up. It's pretty packed on the upper levels and the lower levels starting to fill up. A lot of fans excited for the game after this one between Nebraska and Texas, a rematch of last year's championship game in which the Cornhuskers beat the Longhorns in consecutive sets, winning 3-0 for their fourth ever national championship. The Cardinal are in search of their seventh to tie Penn State for most all time. Can the Card do it this weekend? If they can block, they can win. Minnesota will be serving to start the game. Seliger Swenson will be serving from the far left corner. A lot of pressure on this young team, but they really don't have much to lose after going into the game against Wisconsin. They were the underdogs the whole way and have really just been booming since. Waiting on the referees to give the signal. Stanford's bench was actually noted in the press conference the other day about just how crazy they've gotten this season and how that each player has their own cheers for each other and how much of this game means to all of them and how if they can fire up their teammates, they'll be sure to do it. Tammy Alade, one of the leaders in the huddle, as far as leading the team cheers on the sidelines. The Cardinal fans being shown on the overhead Jumbotron. Some Golden Gopher fans now as well. Minnesota finished the season tied second in the Big Ten, going 17 and three in their Division while the Cardinal finished second in the Pac-12 tied with UCLA. Seliger Swenson back to serve and we're underway. Hence with a bad dig. Gray sets it on the outside for Fitzmorris. Dug out. Seliger Swenson sets for Wilhite. Locked down. Fitzmorris tries to recover the Cardinal. Unable to get to it as it falls out of bounds and Holland McKenna tried to dive for it. And the Golden Gophers pick up the first point of the game. Seliger Swenson once again serving from the far left corner. The sophomore setter sends a good one down here. Plummer, Gray, back for Plummer near side. And she mishits it, point to the Golden Gophers off of a hitting error. And Stanford really struggled in those first two sets against the Badgers, hitting and have sort of fallen off a little bit as of late. The serve once again, Plummer. Gray outside to Fitzmorris off the block, dug out, overpass, play at the net, and Fitzmorris is there to tap it down. Stanford picks up their first point. Ajonik who's coming into the game as Hens goes out, and Fitzmorris comes back to serve. Lutz will come in next. Serving from the near middle part of the court, Fitzmorris sends a good one down here, Rosado. Seliger Swenson up the middle and getting the kill was Lohman. Stanford is definitely a taller team here today. But the Golden Gophers do a nice job of, the, of doing those quick sets to throw Stanford out of position as Wilhite will go back to serve. Far left corner, she'll go. McKenna, Gray, the slide. Ajanaku off the block. Stanford gets the kill. It's 3-2 here in the first. And Moretta Lutz will come in for Kelsey Humphreys and Stanford into their true tall, small lineup with Ajanaku Lutz and Plummer up front. Gray back to serve with Henson McKenna on the back line. Jenna Gray, the young freshman setter, will be serving from the near middle part of the court. Sends a good one down here, Rosado. Seliger Swenson up the middle goes, Lohman blocked down. Seliger Swenson recovers. Rosado's gonna bring it outside for Hart off the block. Hence unable to dig it. And it goes out of bounds. Points in Minnesota. 
some of the Golden Gopher media are behind us here at the announcer's booth today. Good serve by the Golden Gophers. Hence, Gray. Up the middle goes to Jonaku. Roll shot. Dug out by the Golden Gophers. Will Height from the back line. Hence able to dig clean. Gray's going to set for a Jonaku. Gets the kill off the block. It's 4 3. Ivana Vanyak's going to sub in now for Holland McKenna. Plummer going to go back to serve from the near right corner. The AVCA National Freshman Player of the Year. Sends it into the net. Service error. Stanford served really well the last couple of weeks. A tough error there, and they're down by two. It's 5-3 early on in the first. Stanford lost their first two sets against Wisconsin before going on a roll. Interesting to see how this team's going to come out today. Good serve down here. Plummer. Gray, a Jonaku spikes it hard up the middle as she went up and sort of took an interesting twist on the kill and she just picked up her third kill of the game. She leads all players on four attempts already. Stanford with no blocks yet as they're the leading blocking team in the nation. Good serve from Hans Rosado struggles. They're going to set from the back line, hitting over Wilhite. Fitzmorris, Gray, outside to Lutz, dug out, Golden Gophers. They play at the net, dug out by Hens. Gray will set on the outside for Lutz. Dug out by Wilhite. Play at the net, Vanyak tips it over, dug out. Swenson, near side for Hart, Hens able to dig clean. Gray's gonna set on the outside for Lutz. Down, Rosado digs it. Swenson for Hart. Plummer able to dig from the back line. Gray's gonna set for Fitzmaurice up the middle. Tied game, 5-5. Five, five. Great defense by Stanford there. Staying in position. And hence will go back to serve. Plummer doing a nice job of reading him from the back line. Rosado for Seliger Swenson. On the outside goes tap, locked down, recovered. Swenson from the back line goes Wilhite. And she picks up the kill off the pipe. Wilhite, the Big Ten Player of the Year. Such a dominant force at the net from the back line plays every point and going back to serve Goner far left corner Plummer for Gray near side for Vonyak rips it down off the block six six early on here in the first both teams trying to feel each other out and find their rhythm Stanford has two more kills six to four while the Gophers have two more digs at 7-5. to five. Humphreys in the game back to serve near right corner. Sends a good one down here. Swenson on the outside for Wilhite. And she picks up the kill and the Golden Gophers go back up 1-7-6. Stanford with four freshmen out on the court with Vonyak and Humphreys right now. The redshirt junior and the second of two seniors in Humphreys. And Rosado goes back to serve. Far right corner, Hens for Gray. Near side for Fitzmorris, off the block, dug out by Tap. Swenson, near side, and getting the kill from the near side was Tap. And Paige Tap picks up her first kill of the game. 8-6. Rosado serving from the same part. Far right corner of the righty. Sends a good one down here, Hens. Gray, near side to Fitzmorris, big start, dug out. Swenson, near side, dug out by Humphreys. Gray will set, up the middle for Fitzmorris, and she'll get the kill off the block. One point game, Hall McKenna set to check in for Vonyak. So far, Stanford with no blocks in this game. They finished with 17 and a half in the game earlier this season at Maples. Stanford leads the nation in blocks per set. Let's see if they can get it going here. McKenna puts a good one down. Rosado, Seliger Swenson for Wilhite. Dug out by Humphreys cleanly. Gray will set, dump. Dug out, outside to Wilhite. Over the net it goes. And she's unable to recover as she was beyond the antenna and couldn't push it back. We're tied back up at eight. Both teams hitting great so far. McKenna back to serve, Rosado. Seliger Swenson. 
Dumps it, dug out by Humphreys. Gray will save it, near side for Plummer. Gets the kill off the block. Stanford goes up one, it's now 9-8. Stanford in the final three sets against Wisconsin. Once they got the lead, they never relinquished it in the final three sets. Let's see if they can keep pulling away. McKenna sends a good one down here, Rosado. Seliger Swenson, outside to Wilhite, hence able to dig. Gray will bring it near side for Plummer. Off the block, dug out. Swenson for Wilhite, blocked out by Gray. The center just picked up a solo block on the outside. Stanford up by two. A spot in the national championship game on the line. McKenna back to serve, near right corner. Rosado struggles. Swenson back out to Wilhite. Hence able to dig clean. Gray for Plummer. Crushes it down on the outside. Card up three. We asked ourselves, as Minnesota's going to take a timeout, what did Stanford have to do to win this game? We said they were going to have to block. While they only have one, the block is giving Sarah Wilhite some issues right now. As on nine attacks, she has three kills and two hitting errors. Stanford right now using the block and their size to their advantage. Another thing worth noting, as we're going to keep it here for this break, is the all-time record. Stanford has history on their side. They're 7-0 all-time against Minnesota, and I'm sure they'd love to make it 8-0 with a spot in the national championship game on the line. Stanford's been on a bit of a roll right now. They're up 11-8 as Fitzmorris and Plummer have five kills and only one hitting error between the two of them. The young freshman playing dominant up front, and Fitzmorris has one block in this game. Adriana was noted a NSA honorable mention. As Sarah Wilhite was named to the all national team. Her and Seliger Swenson and Carlini from Wisconsin. Teams about ready to go back out on the court. Once again, Stanford in their road cardinal red uniforms while the Golden Gophers are in their home white uniforms. Stanford's up 11-8. And as we said, they were up. And once they got the lead against Wisconsin, the last three sets, they never gave it back. Can Stanford keep their foot on the gas pedal here? And as we said, keep pounding with the block. I think they can. Great position right now for this young team. Once again, I'm Jimmy Garcia. You're listening to KZSU 90.1 FM. We're back to action, and Holland McKenna will be serving from the near right corner. Rosado for Seliger Swenson. Up the middle they go, and they're stuffed. Play at the net. Will Height will bring it back around. Hence, able to dig. Gray will set it. Back for Plummer. Rips it down, dug out by Tap. They set on the outside. Hence gets a hand on it. Fitzmorris will save it, hitting it over Plummer. Dug out from the back line. Play at the net. Fitzmorris hits it down. Seliger Swenson back for Wilhite. Blocked down. Cardinal get the point. As Swenson couldn't dig. Stanford up by four. Crazy play at the net right there. Great job by the young freshman. Staying composed at the net. And McKenna dominating the service line here. Rosado struggles. Seliger Swenson on the outside. Blocked down. Rosado Swenson. Outside for Wilhite, and she gets the kill off the block, and Minnesota finally gets the side out. They were really struggling right there as Stanford was going on a big run. And that run all came with a Jonaku on the bench, and she's leading the team in kills right now. Stanford's going to be happy when she comes back in. Seliger Swenson back to serve, far left corner. Plummer gets a good dig. Great. Fitzmorris flying swing. Rosado digs. Swenson. Outside for Wilhite. Hence gets a hand on it. Gray will bring it near side for Plummer. Roll shot dug out by Wilhite. Swenson near side. Blocked down by Humphreys. Gray. Plummer dug out. On the back line for Wilhite. Off the block. Gray will set. Tips it over. They recover. And Humphreys is unable to dig the big swing as Lohman gets the kill up the middle for the Golden Gophers. It's 12 10. Both teams playing extremely aggressive right now. Stanford still with their two-point lead. 
Swenson serving from the far left corner. Hence for Gray. Outside to Fitzmorris. Rosado digs. Lohman will bring it for Wilhite. And Stanford's block falls out of bounds. And now they need the side out as it's a one-point game at 12-11. Ajonica waiting her turn to come back in. As the young core getting stuck out on the court. Hence, Gray outside the plumber. Crushes it down off the block. And she went up big for that one as she's approaching the 400 kill mark this season. In comes Ajonaku. She finished in the game against Wisconsin with a career high 11 blocks. And she was an absolute animal out on the court to finish. Fitzmorris will go back to serve near middle part of the court. The 6'6 freshman sends it down. Seliger Swenson on the outside. And picking up the kill was Tap. Paige Tap makes it a one point game at 13 12. The game out at Maples Pavilion in the second game of the season, both of these two teams were super competitive. Both sets came within a couple points of each other. And the third set won extra points. Plummer over past Lohman, and she'll pick up the kill, and we're tied up at 13. Stanford starting to slip a little bit as the Gophers are starting to find their rhythm. They have 11 kills in this one already. Sarah Wilhite back to serve, far left corner, Plummer with a bad dig. Hence will bump set it near side, back for Plummer. Crushes it down, Stanford goes back up one, and Plummer with a great recovery job right there. As it was a horrible dig, Hence had to bump set back for her. And she was able to crush it down. Gray will go back to serve. Stanford back in their true tall, small lineup. The young freshman setter sends a good one down here. Hart struggles. Seliger Swenson on the outside for tap. Blocked down by Plummer and Ajanaku. And Iki was fired up for that one. There's a great video out now of Ajanaku sort of breaking the news to Plummer about winning the National Freshman Player of the Year. It was a great video. If you all get a chance to watch it, incredible job. Hart, back to action. Swenson, back out for Hart. And she crushes it down on the outside. As we said, we have some Golden Gopher fans here behind us. They're quite loud and energetic trying to cheer their team through. And back to serve. Tap. McKenna with a good dig. Gray will set for Lutz, off the block, recovered by the Gophers, outside to Hart, the block's there, and they're unable to dig it. And it's tied up at 15 now. As the front line of the Cardinal were a little bit out of position right there. And we're tied up at 15 now. And back to serve, Paige Tapp, McKenna, Gray, up the middle goes Ajanaku, she rifled it down there. Ball goes into the fourth row on the opposite side. If the Cardinal want to win this game like they did in Wisconsin, they're going to feed her a lot in this game. She finished with 38 swings and 20 kills. So efficient in the game on Saturday against the Badgers. Plummer back to serve. Rosado, Seliger, Swenson. They're going to slide out. Hand attack. Dug out by Gray. Bump set from Hens. Near side for Vonyak. Off the block, out of bounds it goes. Point to the Cardinal, back up by two, 17-15. Back and forth, first set as Stanford has up to three blocks in the game. They average right around 3.22, which is best in the nation. And Plummer goes back to serve near right corner. Rosado struggles, Seliger Swenson will slide for tap. Plummer able to dig clean, Gray will bring it near side. Vonyak. Dug out, it was a bad set. Rosado, near side for Hart, hands able to dig clean. Gray, outside to Lutz, roll shot is blocked down by Lohman. It was a bad swing by Moretta Lutz. She tried to go with the finesse right there and it was read beautifully by Minnesota at the net. Both teams with 13 kills, the Cardinal with only two hitting errors to the Golden Gophers four. And back to serve, Shaw. Good serve here. Hence, come brings it near side. Vonyak hits, just hits it over Shaw. Seliger Swenson, back line, and getting the kill was Wilhite. And Stanford has really not played any teams this season that run that pipe play 
with a big swing and kill from the back line. And Wilhite so efficient at doing that. So we'll see how the Stanford block adjusts to that throughout the game. Shaw with a good serve. Hench juggles. Gray. Ajanaku. And she mishits it. Point to the Golden Gophers. And Minnesota goes back up one, 18 17. A hitting error from Inky. Timeout taken. We're going to take our first here on KZSU 90.1 FM. Once again, I'm Jimmy Garcia. You're listening to the final four between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Stanford Cardinal as Minnesota's up by one early on in the first. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening. For over two decades, our beloved Cardinal have dominated the collegiate athletics landscape. From Pac-12 conference matchups to bowl games and NCAA tournaments, KZSU has been right there with them like family. Stanford Athletics is a family you too can join and support. The Buck Cardinal Club was started in 1934 and it still continues to this day to support over 900 students. By joining the Buck Cardinal Club, you can help them on and off the field and throughout the Stanford community. To find out more about the Buck Cardinal Club, go to buckcardinal.com. Your gift will help our athletes as we take on championships, bowl games, tournaments, and more. Thank you, and go Stanford! Back here on KZSU 90.1 FM, I'm Jimmy Garcia. Stanford down by one, 18-17, as the final four game is between the number six seed Cardinal and the number two Minnesota Golden Gophers. The game following this one is between the Texas Longhorns and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska was number one all throughout this entire season. They fell to number two in the AVCA poll, but still ended up with the number one seed in the tournament. Minnesota, the number one team in the AVCA poll, and Shaw will go back to serve out of the timeout as we're back to action here at the Nationwide Arena. Far left corner, Plummer, Gray, the slide, Ajanaku rips it down the line and she picks up the kill on that swing. Kind of finessed around the line right there as she nearly mishit it. Nice job of picking up the kill there. We're tied up at 18, hence going back to serve. She's been great the last couple of games. Service ace right on cue. Morgan Hens puts the card back up once. She had five service aces in the game against Florida State, picking up her first of the game here. Near left corner, the libero goes, just gets it over Asado. Seliger Swenson for Hart, and she's able to rip it down on the outside, tied up at 19. This game is a big matchup of offense versus defense. Minnesota, one of the best hitting teams in terms of kills per set and just how aggressive they swing while the Cardinal, the best defensive teams in term of, terms of blocks per set. Good serve, hence. Gray, outside to Lutz, and she crushes it down on the outside. Puts Stanford back up 12019. And that was an impressive swing by Moretta Lutz right there. As it was more than just a big swing from the 6'8 redshirt junior, but it was so aggressive. She'll sub out of the game for Kelsey Humphreys, who sends a good one down here. Rosado, Seliger Swenson, near side to Wilhite, dug out by Humphreys. Gray will slide for Fitzmorris, off the block. It goes out of bounds, point to Stanford, and they're up two. Stanford back rolling right now. Can they close out the first set? The bench is fired up for Stanford as Alade leads the team in cheers on the sideline. Humphreys back to serve. Near right corner, gets a good one down here. Will Height, Seliger, Swenson, dump, hence digs. Gray for Vonyak, and it's blocked down. Plummer able to three ball it over and save it. Rosado, Swenson, Will Height blocked down, recovered by Lohman. Outside to Will Height, blocked down. Out of bounds it goes. Great play by Stanford to stay in that one, even though they didn't get the point. It's an interesting view on the sideline as the bench for Stanford is still going crazy. Ajanico a little bit quieter 
more of the leader on the sideline trying to encourage your teammates and point out what went wrong right there. This is one of the youngest teams in the nation and starting four freshmen is a little intimidating in a game of this magnitude. Plummer, Gray, near side for Fitzmorris, Rosado digs. They set on the outside for Wilhite, hence unable to dig. Tied back up at 21 all. Stanford with their four freshmen out on the court right now with Vonyak, who has struggled a lot this season hitting, and Humphreys in there primarily just to play defense. Rosado trying to give her team the lead. Plummer digs clean. Gray near side for Fitzmorris. Dug out cleanly. Swenson on the outside for Wilhide blocked down by Fitzmorris and Gray. And while Ajanaku is one of the best all-around players, Fitzmorris will be taking that full-time position at middle blocker next season for her as she is one of Stanford's best blockers so far this season. Holland McKenna back to serve. Good one down here, Rosado. Seliger Swenson outside to Wilhite. Tied back up at 22. Wilhite with eight kills already. And it is a tight first set back and forth. Both teams confident as we're tied up. And back to serve, Seliger Swenson, far left corner. Hence, Gray outside to Plummer near side, crushes it down the line. Stanford up 23-22, and in comes Ajanaku. She's known for being the closer. Can she do it here? And get a big block to set up set point. Stanford one point away from that. Fitzmorris back to serve near middle part of the court. Gets a good one down here, Rosado. Swenson outside for Wilhite, tied up at 23 all. Fitzmorris comes out for Hens. It's Gray with Ajanaku Plummer, Holland McKenna, Morgan Henson, Kelsey Humphreys, as Sarah Wilhite is back to serve, far left corner of the senior goes. Plummer with a good dig. Gray, the slide, Ajanaku, out of bounds it goes, point to the Cardinal off the block. Set point here in the first, Stanford trying to inch a little bit closer to a national championship game. Stanford back to the true tall, small, good blocking unit in, it, in right now with Jenna Gray going back to serve, 24-23. Gray near right corner, Rosado, Seliger Swenson to Hart, tied back up at 24 and we're going to play extra. We played at 25, but you have to win by two. So there will be extra points needed here. Can Stanford get those points? They've hit 340 right here in the first. 19 kills on three hitting errors. Back to serve tap, hence. Gray, Ajanaku roll shot, gets the kill up the middle. Stanford back to set point as Inky picks up her seventh kill. Stanford really wants to close out this first set. Three minute break in between the first and the second sets. Timeout taken on the court. We're going to take one here on KZSU 90.1 FM. I'm Jimmy Garcia. We'll be right back with the rest of the first set and analysis going into the second. Thanks for listening and we'll be right back. On behalf of KZSU Sports, we want to thank the Stanford Athletics Department of KZSU Broadcast. Stanford Athletics has an incredible 36 sports going on throughout the school year, and many of those sports are free for the public to watch. Right here on the Stanford campus, you can watch tennis, water polo, wrestling, lacrosse, softball, field hockey, beach volleyball, track and field, gymnastics, fencing, swimming and diving, and more. Come to the Stanford campus to support these amazing student athletes. Visit GoStanford.com for the latest schedule information. And remember, when you come to wear Cardinal Red... Welcome back to KZSU 90.1 FM as there's mixed cheers behind us as the Stanford fan section is behind us. 
but there's two or three Golden Gopher fans who are pretty loud right now behind us as Stanford's at set point here in the first. Can they close it out? Lutz in there with Vonyak and Ajanaku. This is a deadly blocking unit for Stanford, even with Fitzmorris on the bench right now. And Plummer will go back to serve. Can she get an ace? Maybe something spectacular. Serving from the near right corner. Rosado struggles. Seliger Swenson outside for hard. Cardinal able to dig. Hence will bump set it near side for Vonyak. Off the block, Stanford recovers. Gray outside for Lutz off the block. Recovered by the Golden Gophers. They set from the back line going Will Hyde. Gray able to dig. Bump set near side for Vonyak. Lutz able to dig. Overpass. Swenson for Hart. Vonyak digs. Gray for Lutz. Roll shot. Rosado digs. Seliger Swenson outside for Hart. Blocked down by Lutz and Ajonaku. Stanford takes the first set and are two sets away from a national championship game. We said the block would have to do it. Stanford with five here in the first. What a great first set by both schools. Stanford wins the first set 26-24 behind Inki Ajanaku, seven kills and two blocks. Catherine Plummer with five kills. Adriana Fitzmorris has four and three blocks. While the Cardinal hit 320, they still ended up with one fewer kill than the Golden Gophers. They finished with 19, but only three hitting errors. Great numbers for them as the Golden Gophers finish with 20 kills on six hitting errors. Four of those coming from Big Ten Player of the Year, Sarah Wilhite, who is a dominant force all around the net and has given the Cardinals some issues today. Stanford being so good on the block, they had to just adjust a little bit when the teams were getting close there at the end. And Lutz and Ajanaku so smart about repositioning themselves. And Moretis had a bit of a down first set with only one kill on eight swings. With that being said, we're going to take one quick timeout before coming back for the second set here on KZSU 90.1 FM. I'm Jimmy Garcia. Thanks for listening, and we'll be right back.